Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Coming Distractions, brought to you by the Nerdpocalypse Podcast. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Terrence. What's up? All right, guys, we're back. This time we're going to review the 2017 crime thriller mystery film, The Snowman. Um, this is starring Michael Fassbender, J.K. Simmons. actor? He's a great actor <laughs> who makes very okay. poor choices. Mm-hmm. Um, so this film is starring uh, Michael Fassbender, Rebecca Ferguson, uh, Val Kilmer, yeah. weirdly, and J.K. Simmons. That was fucking weird, man. <laughs> this movie... Okay, so Terrence and I both saw this movie. This is not good. This is probably my least favorite movie of the year. Not yeah. probably. 100%. It is my least favorite movie I've seen. <laughs> I fell asleep a couple times. Yeah. I once for like 10 minutes, probably, <laughs> and like uh, like on and off, maybe like three, four minutes. Because, <laughs> yo, this movie's garbage. It is like, really it's, bad. It's hot garbage. Like, I can't stress that enough. Again, Brad may possibly be onto something. No, that, I, I look, disagree. Look, Michael Fassbender is a solid actor. Is he? He makes really poor What's choices. What's his problem? What's his casting agent's problem is the question. So okay. let's talk about the plot of the movie. and then what we'll plot? Get... <laughs> plot. <laughs> okay. um, so the plot of the movie right. is there is a killer in – so the, the movie takes place in Oslo. By the way, this is uh, based on the novel by Joe Nesbo. Um, Main the... character's name is Harry Hole, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Not joking. But apparently – Harry Hole. But apparently – What does that in... mean in, in, Nor- in Norwegia? So uh, apparently – the original translation, it's supposed to be pronounced Hole or Holy, but that didn't regard that didn't translate. Matter. It didn't no, translate. His well. name is spelled Harry Hole. <laughs> it is. And that's yeah. what they call him in the movie. Yeah, that's what this movie does not translate well. So so the idea here is that during uh during a time in Oslo, uh Norway, there there's like sort of a run up to um kind of like the Winter Olympics. They call it the Winter Games. But yeah. um and Oslo is one of the cities that might be chosen to host these winter games, right? And J.K. Simmons is the guy who's, like, in charge of the committee to promote Oslo. Um, None of that matters. No, it, 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 <laughs> it really, really didn't doesn't. matter to the plot at all. Um, but then these people start showing up dead in Oslo for whatever reason. And it's always followed by, like, this little snowman being there or – a, a snowman head on a dead body that's yeah. been decapitated. You Ter- laughed every single time that fucking snowman showed up. It, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, come on, nigga. Yeah. Like, you're a child. I am. Because every single time it's like this super serious music and they're like, dun, dun, dun. And it like pans over. And then there's just like a snowman with like just staring at the camera, and, like coffee was, bean teeth and fucking eyes and, and little stick sp- little stick arms. It was funny. Like it was really hard to take that seriously. I'm sorry. Um, this movie was also produced by like Martin Scorsese. Like, yeah, because like, he wanted to do it. I read it. He wanted to do it like five years ago. Now, if if he would have done it, this would have probably been a better movie. Like, look, the general plot of this movie, as far as the killer with the snowman thing, like. That part is a little weird, but, like, the location and stuff is kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, did you ever see Insomniac with, or with, Insomnia um, with, with uh, uh, Joe, Joe, not Joe, I was going to say Joe Pesci with, um, uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro and, um, what's the other guy? Robin Williams. Robin Williams. That's a very, that's a very good movie. Yeah. It took place in Alaska, right? Yeah. And it, it, you know, like, that sort of, like, desolate winter kind of thing. That part yeah, the setting the, works. Yeah, the setting totally works for those. It also kind of reminds me of like the girl with the dragon tattoo in a lot of ways. Because it's well, it is a well. Isn't that guy Norwegian also Swedish? I think. Swedish, right? Yeah, so, so it's, it's all it's, it's, it's along. It's, it's almost like they wanted that particular feeling. That shit did not work in this movie at all. At like, all. The so plot. Well, quote. So the the plot is a mess, right? So the director came out and said uh, the director is uh, Tomas uh, Alfredson. He said, like they didn't get to, they didn't get to film like fifteen percent of the script for whatever reason, time constraints, money constraints, whatever. Um, but it showed. It, it showed, like it felt like even in the beginning, I was like, okay, this feels really rushed. Like they showed one character and then they kind of like jumped in time, like like in the middle of that scene, they jumped in time like three or four times, and like mm-hmm. nobody said anything. It was like, okay, they clearly were just like this. We need this, 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 yeah. and like we're cutting through. Um, so that that. 
was obvious from the beginning. But then once the movie got started, it was just all over the place. Like yeah, there was no cohesion to any of the sequences. Like people would do something, and then another scene would pop up, and like, I did, but he just wait, what? Uh, you know, I don't fucking care anymore. I hate this fucking movie. That's yeah. basically the feeling that I had through the entire of the other movie. I mean, I literally leaned over to Terrence an hour into the movie and said, when is this movie going to get started? Nothing happened. No. Like, even when stuff happened, it didn't. Right. And, well, and then they did, like, the really terrible action shooting where, like, the final scene was supposed to be this, like, sort of action thing. Oh, but I they, didn't know what the fuck happened. No. Like, I, 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 cause I, cause I turned out, like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Like, because, they, cut, they, they cut, like, so fast. You're like... Oh, all right. Well, that person <clears throat> lost a finger or whatever. Like, yeah, it's it, just the, weird. The, the action sequences start sequence started when a chair got flipped got up, flipped up a little bit, and then just chaos. I was like, what, I had what's no going idea. On? And it was like, and now the killer is down. Yeah, and then he ran away, and I'm like, okay. And then the ending of the movie, I won't give it away. Don't see this movie. It, it, um, was about the most lackluster, like, villain death of all time <laughs> like it literally was it was horrible um don't don't like i'm about to tell you the ending because you don't need to see the movie like he falls into ice and dies fuck that i don't care <laughs> sorry that's what happens this movie sucks don't waste your money what's your score for this nothing this is a zero out of this five this sucks like i didn't i was not entertained at all okay i agree with you 100 I, I will give it I, I, Half a star because of the casting. The cat, like that's the J.K. Thing. Simmons was in this fucking movie. Okay, so Michael Fassbender, yeah. Rebecca Ferguson. If you don't remember that name, she was in the last Mission Impossible movie. She was very good. Mm. She's in this movie. Um, Val Kilmer's in this movie. J.K. Simmons is in this movie. Like it's a good cast. Yeah, this is a very. good Can we talk about Val Kilmer for just a second? Yes, we absolutely have to. What was Val Kilmer's entire <laughs> role is eighty yard, yeah. and it's out of sync. It's creepy actually like what happened to him i think he had can i think he was fighting cancer like okay, he had so gained a lot of weight like from being like on prednisone or something and then yeah. lost weight. but he looked like i feel like his look wasn't just like him looking kind of bad i feel like they made That's him they look m- bad like it was weird like he was supposed to be like kind of like a disheveled old detective yeah and they didn't really use him yeah it was creepy <laughs> like when he was talking his mouth wasn't synced up with the voice but everyone like, else in the scene was synced up yeah <laughs> right so like not only was he completely 80 yard which that was weird um it's not like val Kilmer doesn't speak english <laughs> like i don't understand right it's not like everybody had like hard accents like jk simmons like sort of had an <laughs> accent like kind of barely yeah he, he was do he was affecting an accent Right, but it, it wasn't, wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. No, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like a heavy accent. Yeah. Either. Um. But yeah, for some reason, Val Kilmer was just like, eh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> nah, I don't use somebody like else's voice, and don't worry about syncing it up, which was just really weird to me. Um. Yeah i I can't recommend this movie at all to anybody. To me, I give it a half a star. I think the cast is right. Like, yeah, that's basically all it gets for me. And, and look, to defend Michael Fassbender again, he <laughs> wasn't bad in the movie. He was totally fine. This the movie was horrible. He was just it was horrible. He was given nothing to work with in this movie. Nothing. His character barely said anything in the first 30 minutes of the movie. He was a drunk. Yeah. He was an alcoholic. Why did he pick this movie? I like, don't. My guess is they probably liked through. the book. And then they were like, we're doing the snowman. He was like, yeah, I love the book. And then then he started filming. I'm like, nah, fuck that deuces. (laughs) I kind of left. Like, I can't. What is this? What are we doing? I don't even know what the hell is going on. No, it was, it was probably, it, it honestly is the worst movie in theaters that I've seen this year, without a doubt. Yeah. I yeah would it was the worst. That. I haven't seen anything. Some people were like, oh, I saw some reviews and they were like, this was a genius movie. I was like, yo, what, what, what movie were you Ooh. watching, dude? Did Who you read that? the book? Because I felt like I, maybe the book influenced your opinion on this. This movie was, like, I feel like if you would read the book and you watch the movie, you'd be offended. It's it's Not a mess. The book sucks too. <laughs> like, I, I don't a, know. It was a top selling book, so I mean, okay. so who knows? But yeah, the snowman cannot recommend it uh, at all. Half a star, I think, for both of us. Yeah, it's, uh, and that's not like that doesn't add up to one star. That is a half a star. Period. <laughs> like if you decide you want to see this movie, don't and just give me the money. 
<laughs> I got a fucking car to pay for. <laughs> Send it our way. We'll put, we'll put we'll put our PO box in the show notes. Don't, don't waste your fucking money. Yeah, really don't don't no. see this. This is this was a, a really piss poor movie. Very rushed. Very, like just no. Like this is a, just a disaster all the way around. So there you go. That's our <clears throat> review of the Snowman, and we will see you guys next time for coming distractions. Thank you. Bye.